Thank you for watching our podcast again this week. Uh, let me talk about the main effort we're making in the Senate first, and that is to try to move ahead with some of the proposals that the President has made with regard to job creation. Uh, as you know, he uh, proposed that the Congress take up and pass a significant jobs bill. He proposed that a couple of months ago. Uh, we were unable to get the 60 votes we need in the Senate. All Republicans opposed us proceeding to that bill. And since then, uh, in the last few weeks, we have been trying to take individual parts of that bill and move ahead with them. The, the part that we're dealing with now is uh, what we call Rebuild America Jobs Act, and that is really the part of the bill that would put money into infrastructure, uh, primarily for, in the case of New Mexico, primarily road and bridge uh, construction and repair. Uh, we, the calculation we have is that about $268 million of uh, new funding would come to New Mexico for highway work and uh, improvement. As part of this bill, uh, it would obviously employ several thousand uh, people to uh, do that work, and uh, it would be a shot in the arm for our state's economy. Uh, we believe it would be a shot in the arm. It's a $50 million uh, commitment of funds for infrastructure improvement, and we think that would be a, uh, a significant uh, boost to the national economy and our efforts to get out of, completely out of this recession that we have been bogged down in. Uh, so that's the main uh, priority. We'll have another vote this week to see if we can get some support from the, on the Republican side so that we can proceed to considering this bill. It is paid for with an increased tax that applies to income in addition to a million dollars. So uh, so if a person has more than a million dollars of income in any one year, uh, they would have to pay seven-tenths of one percent uh, on income in excess of that million dollars. That would be additional tax that would pay for the $50 billion that the President's proposing here. We think this is a a good trade-off, New Mexico, uh, that uh, we have fewer than one-tenth of one percent of our population that has income in excess of a million dollars a year, and uh, we think that the additional burden on them would be very modest uh, to the extent that we have any, any uh, taxpayers in that category. The one other thing I wanted to talk about briefly is the uh, effort we've made in the Health and Education Committee that I serve on to rewrite the No Child Left Behind legislation. This, of course, is the legislation that uh, was passed. Uh, it's it's really a uh, the Elementary and Secondary Education Act that was passed in the 1960s, but it was most recently updated uh, during the George W. Bush administration and and called at that time No Child Left Behind. Uh, as currently drafted and as the law now stands, it's really not workable. Uh, and uh, I think all administrators and teachers in our public schools would recognize that. Uh, I do believe we need to change it. Uh, the bill we've reported out of committee will make those changes, will make it workable once again. Uh, it's not a great bill from my perspective, but it is the best bill we could get uh, out of our committee on a bipartisan basis, I hope. We can move ahead with it. Uh, I was able in the in the legislation that uh, we passed out of committee to put more emphasis to persuade uh, colleagues to put more emphasis on funding for high schools, and particularly to target so-called dropout factories. That is, high schools where uh, fewer than 60 percent of the students entering the school actually graduate. Uh, so. Uh, we're trying to do that. Uh, we're trying to maintain federal support for advanced placement uh, course uh, work and, and the cost of taking tests, uh, advanced placement uh, testing. Uh, we're also trying to keep in place the federal support for technology, modernizing technology for our, our classrooms. Uh, these are some of the things that we were able to in include in the bill. Uh, I think it is a substantial improvement over current law. I hope we can go ahead and get it passed through the full Senate and then through the full Congress. Again, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll try to do this again next week.